Here's a reminder to drink some water. Ready? Everyone go. Oh my goodness. I've heard Charmin. It's really Charmin for your butt. Yep. And I need to have some sort of common ground between, you know, learning and growing and trying to be the best that I can possibly be. Good morning, you guys. I am just headed out to run some errands and I thought I would just say good morning, check in with you guys. Um, a little freaking cute outfit of the day, huh? These joggers are literally life-giving. Um, they're not the best quality, but like they're pretty inexpensive anyway. They have Uggs on. This new bag I got from Target is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. And then this puffer is from Target. Oh my gosh, this is like a Target um, haul. But I have my little cute mask. I'll link these ones below because they're literally the best masks that I've had. They're like comfy actually. And then I have my earrings that I wear every day from Ever Eve. And my hair is crazy. Right now I'm going to pick up some pills for Bentley because... He's just been like irritable and I think his leg is hurting. Um, if you guys aren't caught up on, on the vlogs, he broke his leg on Christmas, so he's my little pug. And yeah, I just want to get him some pills to feel better, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm actually going to go out to my parents' house and make some breakfast because I need to get groceries. And then I'm also going to use their workout room and get a quick workout in because I haven't worked out in a long time and I just want to get back started. So if you haven't started, this is just your little reminder that anything is a start okay even if it's 10 minutes on the treadmill at like a slow pace just start somewhere and you can always work your way up so don't wait like i've been doing until you feel like you're ready just like get after it and start small and that's okay and that's better than nothing so i'm ready to have a great weekend um i had like an off week but i'm excited to just um get back to myself get out a little funk and um yeah, just be joyful and embrace the weekend. So let's go. So all of the snow. Wow. Ugh. Getting Bentley with food. This is what he eats. I wonder though if he's like not a puppy anymore. Do you think Bentley's still considered puppy? How old is he? It says up to 18 months. Welcome to my parents' cute freaking gym. Look how cute it is. It's like a little baby room. Little treadmill action, little weights, bike, more little weights. Um, yeah, I mean, it works. It's perfect. What? Okay, I'm attempting to make a smoothie. Cheers. My hair's up like this, but you can't tell. I don't do myself any favors wearing huge sweatshirts because I just look like a huge marshmallow and it's really, that's not the case. Also, look how cute this little tiny small is. I need to start making coffee at home because this was like $5 and look at how little it is. Um, I am currently running some errands with my mi madre. She's in a store right now. I like thought it was warm out because like before I had a coat on and I was like getting hot, but it's actually 27 degrees like what it's 27 degrees out and i didn't wear um a coat i don't really know why here's a reminder to drink some water ready everyone go S what do they say see a chug send a chug or something yep how weird you can only get one you can only get one so choose wisely I know, I do not need expensive toilet paper. I want the it's $18. I want like the cheapest toilet paper. This is $10. How about this? It's just me. 
or nine mega. Yeah, that's a good one. I've heard Charmin. It's really Charmin for your butt. Okay, quick little Target haul. This little snap and lock container because I want to start bringing snacks to work so I don't just eat like crap. So it has this part up here that you can open and then this bottom part and just thought it would be easier to pack stuff. Then I got, really exciting, this little washer brush that you put the soap in the top and I liked it because it was neutral and not like green. Then I got some light bulbs. I don't really know if these are even the right ones, but I got those. The best little perk or secret, I don't know what to call it, at Target um, are these. I just got matte black this time, but literally they're 50 cents each, and these bowls are my favorite to have, like, cereal in. They're dishwasher safe and microwavable safe, so that's really nice. And I got two of the bigger cups and then two shorter ones that don't want to come out, so that's that. And then I did pick up Bentley a couple little treats. I tried trying these ones and then this that looks like a horn. So, yeah, and these are little, um... These are thrift store finds. This is a, geez, a Bath and Body Works candle holder, which is usually like 20 bucks, and I found it for a dollar. And then these two, I thought this would be really cute to hold makeup brushes in, this was a dollar. And then this, I'm going to do um, a DIY on my channel on how to make these look like expensive vases, and this was a dollar, so little haul. I want to organize this closet here. This is my closet in my bedroom, but I have, three closets like this and I just want everything to be organized so at some point I'm gonna get different doors or whatever but right now I organized my flannels my sweaters okay so I wanted to just sit down because talking about like decluttering my closet I need to tell you guys about my favorite thing lately and that is making cash from the stuff that I don't want so I have piles of stuff like clothes shoes purses that I'm just not loving anymore so the way that I declutter is I ask myself a few questions. First thing, have I worn it in the past year? If I haven't, then it's gone, okay? Because if you have it in a worn it in a year, you probably don't love it. Second thing, does it bring me joy? Like, do I love this? Would I buy this again? If you're anything like me, you probably buy things because they're on sale or you don't want to get rid of it because it's already in your closet. But if you don't love it, get rid of it because you deserve to have something you love. So if you don't love it or you wouldn't buy it again. Also, how is the quality of it? If it's falling apart, if it's like ripped got holes in it are you gonna fix it or are you just not gonna wear it because it's like broken or whatever it is if that's the case get rid of it ask yourself some questions see if you really want to keep it if you do obviously keep it but if you don't there's a couple different options you can do one i like to donate the stuff that isn't in the best quality if i've just worn it out or or whatever the case may be um there are so many places to donate clothing to i have a lot of places downtown here in my city and i will just take my stuff there it doesn't really matter when you donate stuff if it's perfect or not there's just a lot of people in need that could use the stuff that you're not using so i like to do that and then secondly i like to sell my stuff because i'm getting rid of old things so that i can replace them with new things but it's nice to get some cash for the things that you don't want that are still in good quality and good shape so i've talked about curtsy before and i worked with them on one of my last videos i'm working with them again on this video but in a different way Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys how to sell stuff on Curtsy to actually make money from your phone. Basically, you're just gonna take your first piece that you wanna get rid of, make sure it's in good condition, and then take a good picture of it. So good lighting, make sure it's not wrinkled, looks good, all these things, okay? So take a picture of it by itself, and then I also like to take a picture of it on me or a time that I wore it, just so we can kinda of see what it looks like on the body. Then you're going to upload your picture, fill out the description about it, pick your price, and then just wait for it to sell. And then you will get money straight to your phone right as you ship it. It's super easy. They actually have kits you can buy on Curtsy for like a few dollars that will give you everything you need to ship it out, like the bag, the address, everything like that so you don't have to spend money on it yourself and it's super inexpensive to do it that way it's so much easier that i found to sell on curtsy because i have rummage sites around my city on facebook and those like seem nice or whatever but people aren't reliable i lose like where what i've posted in different places people aren't paying all these different troubles that you have posting on facebook and so on curtsy i have everything i'm selling in one spot i have people that can message me directly i have my venmo set up on it so it's just like a one-stop shop and also I can use the money that I found there to be given straight to me 
or I can use it to buy a cuter newer things on curtsy so if you want to check out how you can make money from the stuff that you're getting rid of today then make sure you check out curtsy they have a website or just download the app and do it from your phone so basically how I do this is organize them into piles of like what they are so like right now I'm doing tank tops sweatshirts short sleeve cute shirts and then just like athletic shirts and I want to declutter my closet and then sell the stuff that I'm not using so that I can get new stuff. Right, Benny? Yep. <laughs> okay, update. Belts, extras. These are all like long sleeves. And then flannels, sweaters, cardigans, turtlenecks, hats. Good. Okay, oh my goodness, every car right now has their lights right at me. Um, I know you can't really see me and these red lights are a little crazy. Okay, thank you, sir. Running in to get some groceries, just like a few. I'm gonna like actually write a list tonight, which doesn't make sense, but it's already six and I wanna just grab a couple things. But life hack, I wear my AirPods when I'm in the grocery store and we'll listen to like a podcast so tonight I'm putting on Kenzie Elizabeth and I'm just gonna like use this time as like a little date with myself. Super weird, but going to the grocery store before, I used to get like really anxious and I'm not even really sure why, but I hated it and I've started to like actually enjoy this except for this part with people doing that. I think I have a sliver too, you guys. I don't know. But it's become like one of my new little favorite things to do. Um, Cause you have to do it, you might as well make it enjoyable. So yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to have AirPods. You can literally just have any type of headphones and it'll help um, make it like more enjoyable. And I just like take my time. I don't feel rushed. I just, I also don't go to the biggest grocery store there is. I mean, you could if you want to, but I get overwhelmed. So I'm just at my little, um, my little hometown grocery store, I'm gonna listen to my podcast, wear my comfy masks. These are the Kish ones. They're the best ones in the game that I've found so far. I can link them below. Um, and just grab a couple things just to make supper tonight. And then, yeah, I'm going to hopefully make like an actual list for the week because I really want to start meal prepping. Um, and just so I can be more organized and feel like in control of something else because a lot of times my anxiety is rooted in lack of control so also life hack put your hair in a bun if you have long hair when you're going in public i just feel like it's better to not have all the germs blowing in your hair especially because i don't wash my hair every night so anyway let's go okay i just got done making supper i made don't worry my dad is in the background playing his pinball game downstairs so you can hear the loud stuff but just made chicken and cheese quesadillas and a potato and green beans and I'm working on uploading and I'm at my parents' house. Minnie, say hi. That's Minnie and Henry.